So what I've got going on here is I'm going to go ahead and start. I want to keep my hand up and down and I want to touch, squeeze, and lift up. And you want to lift up so you get a nice round string. You don't want it to be flat. You don't want to drag it. And try and do your best to stay on the line. Now you can tell that I didn't do a very good job here staying on this line. So what I've got is a brush that I want just damp. I dipped it in water and then wipe off the excess water. You don't want it wet or dissolve your frosting. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell it, okay, you really do want to be on that line. And if it's damp, it'll just move the frosting so I get a nice circle. And because I'm not the best piper in the world, this will make you a better piper. But you'll, you'll find that your piping skills will greatly improve. Okay. Try not to hurt the integrity of your ring. Now what you want to do, there's 18 rings on here, and we actually need to go around this cake mm, close to probably 50 rings to go around this, the top of this 12-inch cake. Um, I would suggest that you make at least 70 rings to uh, account for breakage because they do break, they are rather, rather fragile. So you need to make uh, about 60 of these rings and let them dry. Okay, for this cake we're going to do little apple blossoms. So I'm just going to color a little bit of my frosting with yellow. This is just a gel. You can use any kind of food coloring. And I actually want pink, but pink tends to fade. So I use red and use just a tiny little bit of it to make it look pink. And that way I don't have to worry about it fading. So if I use just a little bit of red, not enough to make it red, just enough to make it pink. End up with a nice soft pink. And then this doesn't tend to fade. I mean, it will eventually fade, just not like if you use a pink food coloring. This won't fade as fast. So we're making little tiny apple blossoms. Lambeth did not use drop flowers. He made all his uh, flowers on his cake. He made um, marzipan roses. He used gum paste. And then most of his flowers were royal icing flowers. And then a little bit of the yellow. Okay. And this is a tip one. And then what I have, you notice I don't fit my bags with couplers just because the bags are so small. I really don't want to use couplers. But I suppose you can, if you can control it better than I can, so. And some wax squares. A little bit of frosting there to hold it. And you're going to hold your hand out and make a uh, pedal as you turn. Just squeeze and come out and then come back as you turn. Makes a pedal. And you want to do five of them. Oops. Crossing is a little on the stringy side. There's something in it, that's why. There we go. I had a string in my frosting. And then the last petal, you need to bring your hand up. And then four more. So you get five total. And if you end up with little points, you can use a finger dipped in cornstarch or powdered sugar just to pop those points down.